Hello everyone, my name is Adredden and today we are going to go over the workbench. We're going to go over how to get the schematic and then where to find some of the stuff and then actually build it and see how to use it. Alright guys, this here is the workbench. Inside the workbench you have your recipe list, this is everything that you can actually create. This is your crafting queue, this is what you're making right now. Your inventory, the inspection area, so you can see what it costs to make various things. Not everything is made here. And then you have your output area right over here, so everything you make comes out and is right there. Once you have your schematic, you bring it into your inventory, and, well, first off, we'll go over here and just check. So you can see that it's locked, but then when you use it, that little locked icon goes away, and you can then craft it if you have these things. So we just quickly go over here. Forged iron, of course, is made in the forge, and just, you know, forged iron. Have these things melted, craft that up, and then grab that, bring it over here. Mechanical parts, take apart a bunch of cars, uh, pretty much that's the quickest way to get them. Um, shopping carts are also an option, a couple of other things too. Claw hammer, well this one's a little bit different. Um, they are all over the world, um, you'll probably find some if you do a lot of looting. Otherwise you'll have to find the iron tool schematic to make those. Or you can go over to your strength, go to minor 69er, and then you get this tool nipper, and then you can be able to craft it there. So we'll just pick that up and use that. So yeah, we can craft the hammer. I just grabbed a couple of really simple supplies right in our backpack. I'll just make sure we can see that. So you just do that. It takes a few minutes to craft. You also need a wrench. Uh, the wrenches are made by either reading this or you can look up into your skills go to salvage operations and make a wrench with a junk collector level one and then once we have the wrench i already read that one a couple moments ago we also need some mechanical parts for that one we can just craft that one in our backpack as well so you can just end up making those they'll be just like level one if you're using the schematic anyway once those are all done and you have forged iron everything collected up can take all that and just craft that in your inventory as well workbench just like that and you can see they're all here they're all there and you hit craft it takes five minutes when it is done you just put that in your tool belt and then just find where you want to put it and place it down the workbench is a pretty good gateway to crafting a lot of other things um, like the cement mixer it should also be noted that you can use the workbench as a secondary crafting. So if you look up recipes, you can look up like stone arrows. I don't know, 50. And it'll craft inside there as a separate inventory, and it, so it's crafting in there. Whereas in my inventory, there's nothing there. There are your recipes, stone arrows. I could do another bunch of them there. Effectively doubling the production rate for these things. They're very good on any horde night that's coming up. If you guys enjoyed this quick little tutorial on how to make and use a workbench, hit that like button and share with some friends. If you are new to the channel and want to keep learning about 7 Days to Die, hit the subscribe button. And I will see you in another video. Bye bye.